This video is sponsored by One Football app. One Football app is the best football app in the whole world, which gives you the latest news, scores, live commentary, live tracking, player ratings, everything from the Premier League, Champions League, La Liga, Serie A, Bundesliga, all the leagues in the world. It gives the latest coverage, latest updates, latest everything. It's a must download for all the football fans. Honestly speaking, one of the best football app in the whole world. So download the One Football app in the given link below. Description it is given, it is mentioned. Click on the link and download the One Football app and get your latest scores, videos, upcoming fixtures, and everything related to football. If you are a football fan, then this One Football app is a must download. End of an era. It's over, finished. The era that lasted for only 18 months. Thomas Tuchel has been sacked by Chelsea Football Club. Official news has come just one hour ago. Before I'm posting this video, seriously, big big decision made by the owner, new owner Todd Bowley, who is an American owner. Simply, I can't believe it that he has taken the decision so soon. This was bound to happen because we have been conceding 50 goals in our last 55 matches. We have been conceding 50 goals in our last 55 matches. Seriously, away form has been absolutely pathetic. Some people were telling me that why didn't you re react after yesterday's match? I didn't even watch yesterday's match, man. I just saw the score and slept off. I knew it'll happen. I knew it'll happen. Our away form has been absolutely pathetic. Seriously, what happened to Thomas Tuchel, the god of managers? When he came in, seriously, we went on a run and we are keeping clean sheets after clean sheets after clean sheets. Now we are conceding goals after goals after goals. We seriously don't know how to defend. Our goalkeeper is refusing to extend his contract because he has lost the trust of the manager, he has lost the trust of the board and seriously he has lost his form, he has lost all the confidence, seriously, mistakes after mistakes, goalkeeping huge issue is there, then I think the uh, team has also lost dressing room, means uh, the team is not playing for the manager, it's looking like that, so manager is not able to bring the confidence seriously, means seriously what a start it has been to chill uh, as a manager for Chelsea really. When he won the Champions League, officially he was called the god of all managers, seriously. And last season also he did pretty well. This season it went worst, it went. Seriously, pre-season also has been absolutely worst. Then performance on the pitches also, it couldn't continue like this, man. Seriously, embarrassing defeats. Leeds United, we lost 3-0. Then we lost against Southampton, who is one of the relegation favourites. Seriously, against Everton also, it was not a great performance. Means, uh, uh, means Everton, who has not made some signings. We played them the first match series, it was not a convincing performance against West Ham also it was not a convincing performance at home and against Leicester also we bailed out somehow. So seriously, uh, the performance was not going up to the mark. So this owner has taken a brave, brave, bold decision he has taken of firing the manager. Seriously, means I didn't expect it to be so early. Means he has taken the bold, he's more dangerous than Roman Abramovich, seriously. He means he doesn't have any zero, zero tolerance he has of nonsense. Zero tolerance of nonsense performance. Means if you Means if you go in a run of some three or four bad games, be prepared to be fired like that is. Ruthless, absolutely ruthless. And yesterday's result was absolutely pathetic. Though I didn't see the match, I don't want to see also. Seriously, it was an absolute pathetic, appalling performance. That whole dyn Dynamo Zagreb, that whole team, net spent is only 5 million. And our squad net spend is 255 million. We have spent this summer. And we are losing to that side. Seriously, it's unacceptable, seriously. The way we performed. Yesterday was an unfor unforgivable. So he's very ruthless. Hopefully he gets a good technical director. Now the question is, who will be the next Chelsea manager? Favourites, I think I personally want Graham Potter to leave Brighton and come to Chelsea as a new manager. He deserves a big, means he deserves a big club. He deserves a good squad. Means uh, experience squad, high money squad he deserves. Let's see what he does. Graham Potter will be a good, uh, uh, means appointment. Another, uh, another appointment can be Zinedine Zidane who is also available right now. I'll be happy if we get Zidane also. But uh, dicey, another dicey decision can be Maurizio Pochettino, seriously. Means Maurizio Pochettino is available right now. He has managed Spurs. But if Antonio Conte has managed Chelsea and he has gone to Spurs, then we can take Maurizio Pochettino from Spurs also to Chelsea. But uh, he is also one of the favourites. But the most favourites is Graham Potter. But if Graham Potter is not ready to leave Brighton, then I think Maurizio Pochettino will be the manager of Chelsea next. So we have to see what happens. But this owner seriously has made a statement that I am not here to tolerate nonsense. I am very ruthless. The Chelsea heritage is continuing seriously. I am a little bit uh, means uh, appreciative of his decision seriously. Bold decision this one is. 
he needs a good sporting technical director that's it then the recruitment policy will be perfect and uh, he especially needs a director because he has not worked in uh, european sport ever he has not worked so how can he uh, be a sporting director just because he has money that's why he's a sporting director he cannot be the sporting director he needs a good sporting director so uh, so that our recruitment policy is much much better but anyways, as an owner, seriously, he has made a statement that he is more ruthless than Roman Abramovich. Now, zero tolerance of nonsense. So the next manager, whoever wants to come, is under deep, deep pressure. Get along going. That's it. We are here to win. So this Thomas Tuchel, seriously, he'll be my third favorite manager of, of Chelsea. First is always the special one, Jose Mourinho. Obviously, three titles, Premier League titles, he has won for Chelsea. So he'll be my favorite. Second is Antonio Conte, is one of my favorites. And third is... Thomas Tuchel. Actually, it's Antonio Conte and Thomas Tuchel. It's a tie actually. So that after the Champions League, seriously, that night at Porto, seriously, unbelievable it was. Miracle it was. I couldn't believe that Chelsea has actually won the Champions League. It was like that. Means we were so far down we were. Still, he has managed that achievement. He has bought in for Chelsea, seriously. Means that was a remarkable night. So he has achieved really well. First, means when he came in, he was superb. Absolutely mind-blowing. Last season also, he was very good. This season, I don't know what happened. He lost the trust in the players. Means the players lost the, uh, lost the trust in him. Before it got toxic and poisonous, the owner has taken the decision. Free the manager, that's all.